Waters is actually a film that came out in 2019, a couple of months ago, actually. I think it came out in November in limited release. I know, I know. I'm late as hell. Guys, in fairness, between my relocation to Virginia, between work, uh, between other movies and TV shows that I have to catch up on and review and do videos for, between all of that and my mental rehab and porn, I've got a full plate. And sometimes I can't get to things the way that I want to get to them. Ditch porn? What are you? No, I'm not gonna ditch porn. I'm a man of commitment. You think I'm gonna shirk my responsibilities just for this channel? <laughs> Yeah, I wish I might. Either way, Dark Waters is a film that stars Mark Ruffalo, Tim Robbins, Anne Hathaway, Victor Garber. It's directed by Todd Haynes, and this is a biopic movie. This is one of those based on a true story type movies. This isn't one of those based on a true story in kind of a vague way, like, oh, we took a couple of things and then we sensationalized it and we turned it into this big movie and we skip over the real stuff, but the fake stuff is the more entertaining movie. No, 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 no. This is actually a real life story. This is a real movie based on real events. Film stars Mark Ruffalo, like I said, he plays a chemical defense attorney named Robert Balot or Balot. I think it's Balot. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. He's forced to go on the offensive and actually represent this case for these people who come to him with disturbing evidence, disturbing stories about their livestock and their animals being poisoned by something. When he investigates further, he discovers that this big chemical giant called DuPont is actually dumping a special chemical into this product, which is served to a whole bunch of people like nationwide product that we all use today dumping the chemical for this product into the water supply and it's messing up a lot of things including people like it's affecting people in their lives and their animals and all that stuff so he decides to throw himself into this case how to expose this chemical company and try to get them to fix what they've done and how they've affected the people in their lives this movie scared the hell out of me i'm just gonna say that this movie was terrifying not in the sense that it's a horror movie or it's a scary movie but just scary in the sense that this is really real life shit and I didn't expect it to get so real while I was watching it. To come to find out that DuPont and big chemical giants like that, like they can just get away with stuff like this, that the fact that they have these chemicals in your life, they're in your household items and there's nothing really you can do about it. The fact that I didn't know about this story or didn't pay attention to it, that's ignorance on my part. My bad. I apologize for that. I'm going to try to make up for it by giving this movie a really good review. It's just something that hits very close to home because it's like, holy shit, how much did I not pay attention to the water that I drink and what the kind of chemicals are in the stuff that I use every day? So I don't think I could go any further really without talking about Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo is incredible in this movie. He gives one of the best performances I've seen for him. People get caught up on his image in the MCU and how he's big, goofy, fun Hulk and he does the dab and yeah, it's all great, but no, no, no. Mark Ruffalo is a guy that knows how to get it done in the acting department and he definitely gets it done in this movie. He just becomes so engrossed in this story and the more engrossed and immersed he becomes in it, the more engrossed you become with his character and you just become so wrapped up in this mystery this story as he's investigating it, as he's uncovering these things step by step and as he takes those steps to try to expose DuPont, throwing himself into this case, how it became an obsession for him, how it became like a 20 year fight for this dude and how it affected his personal life. All the other supporting actors in the movie do great work here too. Tim Robbins was surprisingly really good. I didn't think he would be in the movie that much. He's actually not in the movie that much if I'm being honest. But when he was in it, I definitely noticed him. Shout out to him. I think the standout performance for me was Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway, I thought this was just going to be a thankless role for her. Like she was just going to play the supportive wife. She's not just the supportive wife. She actually has an emotional stake in this story too. And I think Anne Hathaway is a talented actress. You give her the right material, she can really shine. And in this movie, she shined. She shined like the sun. I did not expect that. Turned what could have been a thankless role into something that actually feels very vital and very informative for the characters, both for her and for her husband played by Mark Ruffalo. The scary thing about this story is that it's real and it affects us all about the water that you drink and the stuff that you put into your body. What I like about the story here is that they didn't just show you the perspective from Mark Ruffalo. They took you inside the story and they gave you perspective and background on people whose lives were really affected by this. As a result, there's much more of an emotional balance to the story here because you do feel invested and connected to some of the people that are involved here. And I think that that definitely added the overall thematic weight of the movie. Movie, which involved chemical giants and corporate bastards and the secrets that they have and the stuff that they try to cover up. He's getting beaten down by this billion dollar company that's just like, look, we're just going to try to sweep this under the rug. This dude is like, no, you guys are assholes and I'm going to fight for those people and I'm going to fight until you give us what we want. Very inspiring thing. And they take what could have just been a normal biopic, like something that could have been conventional and by the numbers. And they give it emotional stakes and they make you feel like you can really get invested in it. Definitely strikes a more gray, somber tone and it reflects that 
that in the cinematography and the shot selection for this movie. Overall, this is a very depressing, harrowing, but horrifying look into, into corporate greed as it relates to these chemical companies and the things that they will do to cover their own asses. I feel like this is a story that definitely more people should be paying attention to. I do feel like it started to do some time jumps toward the end, and it didn't feel like the most efficient way for the movie to use its time. What I mean by that is that the movie built up its story and it took you along in the journey, and occasionally there were time jumps, and then towards the end, it's almost like they wanted to skip to the end, and they didn't know how to do that, so they just decided to keep doing constant time jumps, and at that point, it did throw the pacing off a little bit. Almost like this movie had more to tell, but then it was trying to cram it at the last second, so it was just like, all right, well, look, come on, let's, all right, time jump, time jump, time jump, let's, let's get to the end, you know? I really loved Dark Waters. It's a movie that I wish I had seen in 2019, and this is a story that I wish I had paid more attention to when it was going on. Probably would have made one of my favorite films of 2019 if I had seen it, no cap. Dark Waters was a really well done story, excellent performance from Mark Ruffalo, and I'm gonna give this one Superman Prime. Do you know anything about this story with DuPont, the chemical company, and Robert Ballot and his story against them? If you know anything about this story, or personal experience from this story, let me know in the comment section. Tell me about it. Like and subscribe to the Superfan Show for more, and if you like what you see, tell me how you feel, and stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Hey.